Hey everyone, this is Double RPG here, and I just want to let you know that after Christmas, I'm going to be reviewing three games in order to work my way up towards the third game in a PlayStation franchise, and that is my reviews of God of Wars 1 and 2 separately in the God of War collection for PS3 and God of War Chains of Olympus on PSP. And this will be my way of hyping up for a review of God of War 3 when it comes out in March of 2010 in the US. Speaking of which, I've got something very interesting inside the God of War collection that gives you a bonus aside from playing the first two games on a single Blu-ray disc, and that is a download voucher for the God of War 3 E3 2009 demo. And I played the demo, and all I can say is, is that it's definitely a worthy sequel for you to want to buy this game when it comes out this spring. But some of you might be wondering, well, Double RPG, what do you think of the demo as a whole, or what do you think of it as full? Well, what the heck? Why don't you just sit back and relax as I crank on my PS3 as I give you my full impression of it. Just to clarify, God of War 3 is a direct sequel that takes place immediately after the events of God of War 2. You take control of the renowned and former God of War, Kratos, as he works with the Titans to bring down both Zeus and Olympus to its own grave. As I first started to play the demo, I thought it was going to be the same as the other games that are in the series, but as I progressed further and further, I started to get hooked. To me, the demo is enough to surpass any hype whatsoever. The demo even showcases the gameplay that has a few new bells and whistles to start off, but I assume that there will be more in the final version. While the controls from the previous games remain intact, the newest kickers are that of jumping and grabbing harpies when swinging onto them one after another, and the flight of the Icarus wings at the end. The combat is just as fun as ever as you can unleash your wrath on many demons, minotaurs, Olympus soldiers, trolls, and so many others to name a few. In terms of weapons to select, there are only two, Athena Blades and Cestus Gauntlets, and you can switch them with the Deed Pad, but I assume that there's going to be more weapons in the final version as well. You can even use the left analog stick to shake off a horde of enemies that gang up on you, or you can use them as a shield for when they march down at you in huge clusters. But where's the fun in that when you can attack the mini enemies to rack up some more red souls from the vast amount of combos? Well, anyway, in terms of bosses to fight, there weren't that many that were in the demo, but there were only two, Helios, the god of the sun, and a chimera. Fighting the chimera had to be the biggest highlight of the demo because of the quick time events within the battle. Whether if it was cutting off the serpent tail, disemboweling the stomach, or impaling the head with its own horn, the fight was enough to give anyone a ride worth their money. The only new item in the game was the inclusion of Helios' head, after you rip it right off. The device is used to light up any dark paths that hinders your sight from what you see, and it is a useful device for you to blind your enemies as you can hit them, dead on. With a blind attack, that is. That is what's new about the game. As I mentioned about the quick time events, they are present in the game, and it is what makes God of War so awesome. Now let us talk about the visuals. The graphics are displayed to be showcased in 720p of a high definition TV. The amount of depth and detail put into the characters, bosses, enemies, and environments are just as great for a PS3 exclusive. What makes the visual so sick and more incredible is the amount of bloodshed and the detail of the gore that takes place. I mean, when I was ripping off Helios' head, I was like, damn. From there, you could see that I was in shock and awe from seeing that as it was amazing. The music and voice acting are also present, and the voice of Kratos, Terence C. Carson, is back in full force. The orchestrated scores with homage to the music in the previous games were just as breathtaking as ever. Even the sounds were very crisp and clear with what they represented within the gameplay. Now I know I've said so many great things about this demo, and there isn't that much that's worth complaining about, but the one thing that still peeves me is the lighting for when you have to play on a standard TV. When you go through caves that are completely dark, or areas where the lighting makes it hard to see where you have to go, then you will have a hard time seeing what is there. This is mainly because the game is fit to be an HD game in all respect. I assume that the final version will have an option to where you can increase the brightness to make it easier to focus on what is hard to see, but I still recommend that using a high definition TV, like a 40 inch Sony Bravia at 1080p, will make it much easier for you to focus. 
Of course, if you don't have an HD TV, then at least pray and expect brightness and contrast option to help you with those faulty visuals in standard view. All in all, I can see that this game is bound to be a masterpiece for the PS3 lineup of games that are about to come out in the future. If you are willing to escape reality from out the window in March of 2010, then give this game a buy. If you want my full two cents on the game as a whole, then be prepared for the spring of 2010, as I will deliver to you my full in-depth review.